Hi there, Stephanie here from Fork and Knife Teacher, and I'm going to go over with you today my kitchen equipment matchup activity. So this is the matchup activity. This is like eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and then there's two columns on each sheet. And there's a variety of pictures down the left side of the column and then words on the right side. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. There we go. And you can see that under the title, there's instructions for students to draw a line from each picture to the correct name for the item. So, you know, it's each column of the page matches up with, um, all the words and the pictures in that column match up. So we have in this one here, wooden spoon, and the student would draw a line up to the word wooden spoon. Um, you know, whisk, and they would draw a line here to the word whisk. It's not a, I mean, you could give this digitally if your students know how to go up and um, activate the line drawing tool, or you can print it out and they can just, you know, draw with a pen or pencil, whatever they have available. But I have five sheets, all different pictures on the five sheets. So there's no repeating pictures here. So this is the first page. This would be the second page. And again, it's a mixture of items. Like you can see there's um, scales on this left side. It kind of, um, I tried to kind of maybe group stuff a little bit. So like if you are doing a certain topic, like you are doing scales, you can give them this page. Um, if you're doing, you know, a little bit of um, like pots and pans, you could give them this page that has the, um, the roasting pan and the colander and the saute pan on it. Um, if you're doing knives, you can give them this sheet, number four. You see on the left-hand side, there's a variety of knives, butcher knives, um, boning knife, cleaver, oyster knife. Um, and then this last page is a little bit more of the larger kitchen equipment. Let's see, I have a meat slicer. I have um, a stand mixer, some pots that are maybe not as common, like a rondo. Um, and then some baking items over here. We've got the baking um, muffin tins and um, icing tips, piping tips. So I tried to group them a little bit for you in case you wanted to just you know do a unit and give out a sheet after that unit. But again, you could give out five sheets and that could be something you go through together as a class as well. Great. All right. So again, Stephanie from Fork and Knife Teacher. This is my kitchen equipment matchup activity, drawing lines from picture to word. Um, great for helping students figure out the spelling of words that they don't always see in the kitchen, right? Because you don't do a lot of writing in a kitchen. Um, it's a lot of hands-on, which is great. But if you want to also give them the opportunity to um, see the text written out, this is a great opportunity for that as well. All right. Have a good day.